Hey guys, I'm Jeff Keeley and welcome to Game Trailers TV. This week we have something very special for you, Modern Warfare 2, one of the most anticipated games of all time. And we are here at Infinity Ward to get brand new intelligence to give to you. And I'm with right now Vince, who's the CEO of Infinity Ward, to talk all about the game. Uh, Vince, we've heard a lot about this, we've seen a lot about it. Uh, even this weekend, you guys revealed a new trailer, which hinted at something more that we're going to get to. But for folks that may not be familiar with Modern Warfare 2, if they are out there, can you set up what the game is? It really is a direct sequel to the first one. Correct. This is the first time in the Call of Duty franchise that we've done a sequel, so we're excited about that. You know, we spent a lot of time really crafting the story and the characters in the last game in Modern Warfare, so it's great to be able to continue that story and, and keep that world alive. And Soap is there, but he's sort of alongside you, right? Correct. He's now the commanding officer of the new task force. Task Force 141, which is U.S. and U.K. forces teaming up together, right? right? It's an international coalition. They're generally put together, you know, based on the needs of what the mission is. You know, that'll be Delta Force, it'll be Rangers, it'll be SAS, the CIA. They'll put them all together to be able to do specific missions, like usually capturing high-value targets or something. Now, who do you play in this game? Uh, you play Gary Sanderson, who's a new character, and you work under Soap in the, uh, in the Task Force. Now, do you play as him for the entire game? You don't. There's you don't. actually multiple characters again. We haven't unveiled uh, any of the other ones yet. So. Now, Price, we saw him at the end of Modern Warfare 1 helping you out. Is he going to make a return appearance in this game? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But he's he's not uh, dead, right? I don't know. We don't know what happened at the yeah, end. I mean, there, if you, he was if you believe dead. the internet, there's speculation that he's dead, that he's alive, that he's yeah. living with Tupac. <laughs> you never know where he is, right? We may find out in this game. So Vince, a lot of fans are probably wondering how this game starts. I know you guys have talked about there's this training mission, right? Where you're basically going to you know, get trained in Task Force 141? Yeah, there's, uh, we like to do the training missions just to kind of ramp people up on what's new in the game. So. It's all about that rope jumping down. Not <laughs> for a while, it was a good moment. See, that was great. How many people yeah. have played a training level over and over and over again? That was, so well, we, that was yeah. fine because there was such <laughs> intensity to it. So is this going to be a better training level? Um, we have some, yeah, we have some good timed uh, parts of this training run too, so I think people will, will definitely do that. So the fight is coming to the home front? Uh, it is. We don't uh, want to give away too many details, we want to let the story unfold, but yeah, the, the fight is coming to the homeland. And we know that, you know, from the end of Modern Warfare 1, obviously the, there was talk about sort of bombing the eastern seaboard, so it seemed like it naturally had to come to America. You guys kept that quiet for a long time. Uh, why did you not disclose that until now? Uh, just for maximum impact, you know, right. we don't want that to be the focus of what the game is. It's not a U.S. only game. The game right. is very global. It takes place all over the world. That's just yeah. one piece of the game, and we don't, you know, we don't want it to be the the U.S. soil game. It's not. That's just yeah. a part of it. Obviously, you know, we're in Washington, but it could be other places in the U.S. too, right? It's possible. Possible. All right. Mm -hmm. Do we know who the president is? At the time um, of this game. We don't. Are we going to meet the president? I don't think we are. No president. Uh, the president didn't make the cut. Yeah, no, right? you know, he gets in the Air Force One and, and gets to safety. So. Are you going to be defending or fighting against the U.S.? Um, you'll have to play the game. Because it could go either way, I guess. I mean, you, there's potential to play on the Russian side as well, right? Maybe attack the U.S.? I don't know. You're not ruling that out. Um, are there some more twists here that fans are not going to be expecting? Um, yeah, there definitely are. There's definitely some locations that we have not really revealed yet, and then within those locations there's some uh, some fun gameplay twists. You're also going to get to go underwater in this game, right? Correct. Tell me a bit about that, because I think that's really cool. People got really excited about that. I mean, are you actually in the submarine, or are you swimming, or...? Um, it's mostly uh, kind of the opening to the level. There's not a lot of underwater combat or anything, but, oh, you know. <laughs> Save it for Modern Warfare 3, I guess, right? You know, that's how the SEALs generally kind of infiltrate, so. I see, so then you sort of hit the beach and then you get kind of infiltrate somewhere? Right. And also Hans Zimmer's doing the music. Tell us a bit about that, because I think as a gamer, it's always been a dream of mine to have Hans Zimmer do a video game score. He's never done it. Somehow you guys convinced him to get on board here. How did that come about? Uh, we were kicking around the idea of composers here, and you know his name comes up obviously, right. you know, just because of, of yeah. who he is. And we now have a bit of clout, you know, right. behind the Call of Duty name. So you know, we approached him with that and kind of sold him on the project. And he's very project driven. He wants something yeah. that's new and challenging for him. 
I mean, he wants to always push himself forward, and so we went down and talked to him, and he's just he's the most amazing person to talk to. He's so down to earth, yeah. especially for you know how successful he is. Well, yeah, and I mean when you, you hear the music, you really feel like it is that Hans Zimmer signature music with sort of the, the pounding, pulsing beats and everything, and it's, it's amazing, amazing how it kind of ramps up and scales back down. And now even seeing some levels that I've seen before, but today with the music put in, I mean it just adds a whole other dimension to the gameplay. It makes a huge difference. Now you also have some new technology that you're pioneering in Modern Warfare 2 with texture streaming and that allows you to create you know, these environments that look so detailed. Right? right, yeah, we were able to, you know, one, make the levels bigger because we can stream in you know, the textures later. But then levels that are, or areas that are kind of close to you, we're able to put more detail into. Right. So now you know, there's more debris, there's more you know, explodables, or there's more you know, just little things that don't necessarily affect the gameplay directly, right. but like transitions from the ground to the wall, you know, where we can, we're able to make it really, really detailed out, put more effects on a level, and it's just, it makes it that much more believable, that much more immersive. When you guys are building these games that you know, are so realistic, so gritty, so action-packed, when you think about you know the storyline and the fact that we are dealing with you know modern conflict and war, is it important for you guys to kind of reflect like the two sides of war and show, you know show things from you know different perspectives, so it's not just very one-sided. Oh, absolutely, and that's you know part of the core of the story in this game that you'll right. see when you play through it. Well, that's important, I think. Absolutely. It's like you want to see you know from everyone has a reason for why they're fighting for what they're absolutely. fighting for, and sort of getting into that. So it sounds like there's going to be a much more emotional game as well. Oh right? yeah, yeah. There's definitely some. Uh, some moments in there that make you kind of just sit back for a moment and think.